Good morning, everybody. I'm Shane Chachar here with another health supplement tip for the day. So today I want to talk about this stuff, coconut oil. It's a big jar of fat. Now you may ask yourself, why would I want to take some of this fat every day? I'm going to tell you why, because it's not like any other fat. When you take this type of fat into your body, it does wonders. So for one, it contains something called caprylic acid. And if you suffer from yeast overgrowth, what caprylic acid does, it uh, helps to kill off candida cells. So it's very good to help combat yeast overgrowth. And if you have yeast overgrowth, um, the acidity in your stomach may not be up to par, so it can help to regulate that acidity in your stomach too. Something else that this wonderful fat has is it has lauric acid. Now when you take in lauric acid, what that's going to do, it creates a compound that makes, um, makes it antibacterial, it makes it antiviral, and it makes it antifungal. So that helps to starve off infection. It, it's fantastic stuff. Coconut oil has so many uses, you can actually just Google right now as you're watching this and just listen. Coconut oil benefits. You're going to find a ton of stuff. And I'm sure you have, but maybe you want to learn a little bit more. Something else that this fat has is MCT oil. Now, MCT oil is kind of the reason as to why I'm making this video today. One, it's, it's great for weight loss. And a few years ago, everybody was coming in health food stores just to buy coconut oil because they heard it was so good for people with low thyroid um, to help them lose weight. I'm actually starting to use it again and I've just begun using it. I put it in my morning oatmeal and um, because I'm getting lower belly fat and it's been shown to help get rid of that lower abdominal fat which is really really hard to lose so I'm going to see how well this works. You know, of course with cardio and with watching what I eat. So um, MCT oil, what it does is it produces ketones in the liver and that helps you lose weight. A lot of people also say it helps to kill off their appetite. So if um, you know you have an appetite issue, you may want to consider using coconut oil, even though it's a fat and you're looking at it going, why the heck would I want to use all this fat if I'm trying to lose weight? If you really don't know about fat and weight loss, you really ought to start doing research because fat's awesome for you. Not all fats are created equal, remember that. But the reason I'm making this video and speaking of MCT oil and ketones is um, a story that came out about Mary Newport, Dr. Mary Newport, and her husband had early onset Alzheimer's. Now, um, I'm sure you've been touched by Alzheimer's or in your life or know somebody that's been affected by Alzheimer's. It's horrible. It, it, it's, it's not a beautiful thing to deal with or I'm sure to live with um, horrible, horrible stuff. But what she found is she gave it to her husband with early onset Alzheimer's and had fantastic results. What I'm going to do below, um, I'm going to leave some links to some videos to her TED talk um, and just a couple of her videos and videos are relating to coconut oil and Alzheimer's and you can kind of take a look um, a little further into this. But what she did was she gave um, three tablespoons three times per day to her husband and she gave two tablespoons right before bed. So that was coconut oil four times per day. And she noticed significant difference in, you know, how he was thinking, how he was, everything like that. So if you're looking to kind of use this in a protocol for Alzheimer's, the protocol is three tablespoons with meals, let's say with breakfast, lunch, and supper, and then use two tablespoons before bed. You'll see this in the videos below um, that that's how she did it with her husband, Steve. And um, it, it's pretty remarkable as to how well it worked. So yeah, that's, you know, you're probably going through the internet, you've probably come across my video or you've come across another video and found this video. Well, I'm just hoping that this works for you. And I'd really, really like to know the results you get. So you can, you know, let me and let the other viewers know in the comments below how well this has worked for you. 
or someone you know with Alzheimer's, if you've had any um, any results, leave me a comment below or email me at shanespilltalk at yahoo.com and I'd be glad to hear uh, some of the results you, you've been getting. Now, if you just want to use coconut oil for everyday use, just for the great benefits it has that you will find all over the internet, try for two tablespoons per day, two and a half tablespoons per day. Now, definitely, when I was talking about this Alzheimer's protocol, do not start off with three tablespoons three times a day and two at bedtime in one shot. You will crap your pants. <laughs> this is fat. It will lubricate everything and you will basically get a, this abdominal distress. You will run to the bathroom if you can make it to the bathroom. <laughs> so you got to start off small. Start off with let's say a teaspoon three times a day. Slowly but gently work your way up to this bigger protocol which is three tablespoons three times a day two tablespoons right before bed for um, to produce those ketones to give the brain energy to you know to help um, with Alzheimer's so yeah um, you know if you're looking to use coconut oil in your everyday life you can add some to your coffee which uh, a lot of people are doing now which is called either bulletproof coffee caveman coffee it's kind of controversial as to what the big name is but what you do is you put some coconut oil in there, you put some grass-fed butter, throw it in your magic bullet, whatever, blend it all up, drink it, it's fantastic. I've tried it with just coconut oil, it's, it's phenomenal. It gives your coffee a nice coconut flavor, it makes it all frothy. You can bake with it, you can fry with it, you can um, put it in smoothies, you can do like I do and put it in your oatmeal. You can add it to foods. I don't care what you do, but just for everyday use, try and get two tablespoons to two and a half tablespoons. So that's been my video on coconut oil. Um, I may make some more on coconut oil because there's so many good things with coconut oil. Um, remember, subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share it all over the internet, Facebook, Twitter, wherever. Let people know about coconut oil. And um, it's many, many benefits. Well, I'm Shane saying stay healthy, stay motivated. I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.